Hello folks, back again and this time from the house of Galen and the fragrance is called Abi Rouge. This is the EDT version. For me, Guerlain is not even a house, it's an institute. And the fragrance in front of you, it's said to be a masterpiece. Um, I bought this fragrance uh, some time ago and I've been testing it. And as you can see from the amount of the juice I have used. For me, this fragrance is not a challenged fragrance like your Ancre Noir and you know other fragrances like that. For me, this fragrance is more like you have to have that understanding, you have to have that craving and seeking when you are done with your, you know, the modern fragrances. Um, I have nothing against the modern fragrances, of course, uh, they are with the time. But once you have sniffed a lot of fragrances, have experienced a lot of fragrances, your craving, your taste develops and for some reason you go back to the roots and this is what this fragrance is all about this is where it all started so let's talk about who is it for what are the notes inside and why i'm doing this uh, review uh, because i got surprised all of a sudden yesterday and i really uh, happened to uh, make this video for anyone out there who's looking uh, to buy this fragrance and need some guidance. Um, this has a notes of lemon, I believe, lemon and rosy like a water, but the roses are not feminine and not dominating because um, I also don't like really rose in my, uh, in my scents, in my perfumes. So rose is pretty much in the background and you have to pay a lot of attention to feel that they are roses and that's where the, I believe the sweetness is coming from. So imagine lemon water with rose and background, rose are the background and then there's some sandalwood I believe which makes it a bit more creamy, slightly powderiness and vanilla in the dry dawn. And the vanilla in the dry dawn is amazing guys. Um, I have never experienced such vanilla in my life, uh, it's more of like, a, it's not gourmand, gourmandish vanilla, you know, like ice cream. It's very bright in my understanding. So when I used this fragrance earlier in a humid and in uh, in summer, so let's say, um, it smelled again very pleasant and vanilla sort of and sandalwood, the creamy powderiness comes out. And there is a leather note in it which I have never experienced because leather, once the leather comes up, comes in the fragrance, they take it to the another direction. And yesterday what happened is, uh, it's winter now and uh, in the Middle East and I was wearing this perfume and all, all of a sudden I start experiencing something leathery around me and I didn't realize that it's actually coming from Abi Rouge, what I was wearing. And I was amazed, I said like, what just happened? I was wearing this perfume for, for, a, for a while now and I've never experienced a leather note in it. And all of a sudden in winter, leather start coming out. This is, this is what this art is all about. And I'm convinced that this is a masterpiece, guys. Um, earlier I admired it, I adored it. And for me, it's, uh, I really liked it. But the moment yesterday I experienced the leather note in it, out of the blue, I was blown away. I said, wow. For me, this fragrance is more of like, um, I I feel like this fragrance, what does this fragrance do for me? It's like a rejuvenate me. It's like a spa in a bottle. When I want to relax, you know, you work, when you work five, six days, on your day off, you, you wear it, you sit back with your family, you watch TV, you know, you enjoy with your family. This is what this brings me. Uh, this is what this fragrance is all about. It soothes you, soothes you and um, it has this calming, calming feeling to you. Such a wonderful fragrance and you can wear all, all year round. The only thing with this fragrance is, like I said again, you have to have that understanding, you have to have that craving. Because for, if this was introduced to me five, six years ago, I would have said that, oh, this is, what, 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 what is this crap? This is like, you know, very old school. And I believe they tried to, they have reformulated it 
uh, according to this generation. I believe they have dialed down the Okmos, the potent notes. Uh, but still, it does smell, uh, uh, let's say, uh, classy, uh, timeless. Uh, but I would not say it smells dated at all to me. Such a uh, great fragrance, guys. Um, so I highly recommend this fragrance for all uh, the fragrance enthusiasts out there who are, you know, seeking for something which has which has what it takes but you have to have you have to have that uh, taste for it that's why i will i will say that please sample it first uh, and then go for it um one more thing that um, uh, this is for all year and you can really rock it all year round uh, you don't need to really worry about and yeah this is a uh, very long lasting fragrance guys it is uh, to an extent that uh, you cannot, you, you don't really overspray these kind of uh, fragrances. Uh, um, maybe let's say for me, uh, six, seven, five, six sprays is more than enough. Although I'm very generous on my sprays, I do it like uh, in uh, double figure easily uh, for them to last long. But this is easily your five, six sprays, guys, uh, and you can really enjoy this fragrance. Otherwise, it has the potency to choke you um so yeah i highly recommend this fragrance uh, go for it and uh, you will love it thank you for watching